Hi, this is Kevin for Sonovert.com. This is a video covering the latest Adobe audio editing software, Audition CS 5.5, which replaces Soundbooth and Audition 3.0. Now, what I've got here open is the multi-track interface. This interface is the sort of thing that I think will be familiar to anyone who edits video. But this is straightforward an audio editing software it has got video playback you can play back just one video and you know the main function though is audio the audio controls can be arranged into these clips and into tracks you can zoom in and zoom out very easily it is fun it's a fantastic interface the individual clips can be selected and you can very easily change the volume fader it's very responsive and very well designed but there are one or two issues and I'll cover those later on now the other interface is the waveform interface and this will be familiar to anyone who uses audio software you've got the traditional waveform there and you've also got the spectral frequency display and the spectral frequency display is just fantastic with the waveform you can zoom in and actually do sample editing using the in-track volume editor however the power of this software is really with the spectral display spectral display shows you the same thing but in 3D time is shown across the x-axis frequency is shown across the y-axis and the volume is actually shown by the color black being silence this display allows you to edit things using Photoshop like tools. We've got a click there that I want to get rid of so I'm going to zoom in and uh, see if I can use one of the tools to get rid of it. There it is and what I'm going to do is just basically move the selection closer into the object and then use the auto heal to get rid of it takes a few seconds it's gone now that's really powerful stuff but we've also got very powerful options that we can use to remove noise right across the file if I select an area of noise and hit shift P on the keyboard that, that samples the area of noise and then shift command P or shift control P brings up the dialog select entire file hit OK and that removes all the noise across the file in a few seconds it's absolutely amazing and it's really one of the top features of Adobe Audition. Not only that, but you can also go to the effects menu and you find a pile of different effects. What I like about this software is that by and large the effects tend to have reasonably understandable English names. And if you go in there and you find something which is a bit frightening, um, you have got the presets. And the presets tend to give a reasonably decent outcome, even if the controls themselves are a bit of a nightmare. The effects are found by and large to be very, very high quality. I mean, you know that you're dealing with people who understand audio when you use Audition. There are these Photoshop style selectors at the top, which you can use to listen to your track. And that basically is it. And that basically And that basically is And you can really zoom in and focus on a particular area and find out what's going on there. Now, back to the interface, we've got the file area here and below that we've got the all-important effects tr uh, effects rack you can add individual effects that will affect the uh, file that you're working on or you can select group effects and you get this uh, silly warning telling you that your PC is not powerful enough and it helpfully highlights the filter that is likely to cause your PC problems by painting it red next to the effects rack we've got the diagnostics and also the file properties which are called up automatically and in the multi-track mode you've got the resources central which connects you to the internet and allows you to download loops sound effects all sorts of good stuff for use royalty free in your project to make a loop right click uh, a clip just choose loop and you've got a loop you can do that with any clip now there is a serious issue with the clips Whilst you can select multiple clips using the cursor by uh, basically dragging and selecting or using control clicking, you can't actually physically group the files together using a command. You can't right click and group the files together. You can right click and choose bounce to new track. That creates a new track from the selected clips and then you can go ahead I suppose and delete the clips that you just bounced. 
but that's not really an ideal way of working and for me this inability to group clips together is a real issue. If you select multiple clips you'll find that the clip effects are actually greyed out. You can only apply effects to one single clip at a time or to one single track at a time. And that's something that's bound to be a real drag if you're dealing with a dozen clips at a time for instance. Other things that are missing are lack of MIDI interface, no rewire and there is VST support but no VSTI support so I don't think Adobe have really put musicians creative musicians at the top of the list in terms of their priorities with this particular release it's a bit of a pity that it's actually not backwards compatible with previous editions or with sound booth however you can install it on the same computer and it should run alongside without any problems it's also possible now to install it on Apple Macs it comes bundled with the, a couple of the creative suite collections and you can get decent deals on upgrades from Soundbooth and from 3.0. That's all from me. Until next time, thanks for watching.